It's inauguration day for a couple of government appointees ranging from permanent secretary to member civil service commission, chairman and members of the state university's governing council, school of health technology Agasha, as well as the Muslim pilgrim board. To be found worthy among the millions in the state to serve in these capacities is a great opportunity to offer quality services to the good people of Benue State. As we said, we are heading towards the last segment of our government. And for those of you who are fans of football or any other game for that matter, you see, when you get to half time and quarter time and you decided to change the players, you mean that they should do more than what the other people were doing. So that is what we expect. Today I stand here tall. I have personally speaking accepted to serve you and the state in this capacity as the chairman of the Benue State University. Your Excellency, I remember too well, and Bendo State Indigenous also remember, that before you come into office, the university staff had issues with payment of salaries and allowances on time. Your Excellency, when you came in, that thing changed. You placed all the staff of the university on first line charge. Your Excellency, that has brought enormous stability to that system. As somebody who passed through the four walls of the university and as somebody who is at least literate enough to know what's going on in some universities, you have done much for the BSU, even though we shall be asking for more. <laughs> Governor Tom was quick to advise them on transparency issues, but certain that he would reject any form of investigation done to intimidate him or members of his government. I welcome ICPC, EFCC, or any other anti-corruption agency any time in my government, and those who are involved. But one thing I will not allow is to allow intimidation. I don't see how Mayor TL will be calling to say that come and probe or tell them I can't have staff, permanent secretaries, everybody is being invited by EFCC. But if they are doing it legitimately, I will allow that. But if it becomes witch hunting, I will stop that. And if I'm not satisfied, as a law abiding citizen, I will go to court and expose them like I did when they came the other time and froze in my account, I went to court and I secured a judgment of over 100 million naira against them. There is nothing. I have nothing to hide. What I've said to you, told you here, issues of transparency, issues of ensuring equity, fairness, and justice, issues of accountability, are my core values, and I believe in them. On the issue of arrears of pension and gratuity, the chief executive says he has initiated steps to resolve the lingering challenge. What you see now is what I inherited. I inherited over 70 billion arrears. Aperiku had arrears. Adasu had arrears. Akume had arrears of salaries and pension and gratuity. So some had arrears, I also have. But I've taken steps that will solve these problems once and for all. I'm the first governor to initiate the PENCON program and domesticate the policy or the law in Benue State. Today we have it. And in our PENCON account, we have over 1.3 billion naira. And when we reach a certain threshold, we can borrow money from there and pay the arrears that we are owing. From 70 billion, we have reduced it to just about 40 something billion. 
So we can take money from there and pay. And subsequently, in the next or less than two years, all those retirees of government will not have the problem of pension or their gratuity as you're running up, you go to Pencon and collect your money. While assuring the new appointees of his administration's maximum support policy, to succeed, Governor Tom equally urged civil servants to do same. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.